Many of our researchers are applying their knowledge and skills in other disciplines to support our community. Claire Collins, a leading dietitian, provides nutritional advice and a shopping list to help you have all the necessary ingredients to support healthy eating at this time. She also offers some simple recipes that will help you in creating some tasty dishes without breaking the bank. What I want to talk to you about today is the things you can do when it comes to nutrition. Lots of people are worried and panicking, but now is the time when we're going to spend more time at home, which means we do theoretically have more time to the kitchen. Nutrition is something positive we can focus on at this time, and it starts with washing your hands. You've definitely heard lots about washing your hands to prevent the spread of coronavirus, but washing your hands is important for food hygiene and to keep your food safe. Food hygiene is very important. Start every cooking session by washing your hands and ensuring also that your kitchen benches are clean before you make a start. You might be wondering whether the food you eat makes any difference to the way your immune system functions. And we definitely know that people who are malnourished have immune systems that don't operate the way they could be. The key nutrients are vitamins A, B, C, D, E, and then the minerals, iron, zinc, and selenium. On the internet, you can buy so many different supplements that are claiming to be immune boosting. What the research evidence says is that there is no single nutrient or magic pill or potion that will boost your immune function to protect you from coronavirus. What we do know though, is that eating a wide range of healthy foods is the best way to support normal immune function. We're being asked to stay home as much as possible. So that means not going to the supermarket every day or every other day. If you plan rather than panic buy, it means that there'll be enough food on the shelves for everyone. We've created a list that you can download from the No Money, No Time website. And what we're asking you to do is open your pantry, your fridge and your freezer, have a look at the items on our list and cross off the ones that you've already got and tick the items that you need to buy so that you'll have enough of that ingredient just for one, two weeks maximum. The positive thing about nutrition is that we can use that to help look after our older neighbours and people who are living by themselves. That way we help people to stay at home but feel like they're being looked after and keeping everybody well. With my nutrition team, we're going to keep posting updates about nutrition through the No Money, No Time website. We'll add to our ingredient swap list, we'll include some extra meal ideas and keep providing you lots of really good, sensible and safe advice about nutrition. <music>